Deep learning is going to have a huge impact in big data and urban systems because of the large amount of data that, that we, we have to analyze. Sports analytics is a, is a great example. Over the last uh, four years, um, we've been building new systems that enable for unprecedented um, you know, amount of detail on acquisition of player behavior. The system that MLB Advanced Media has been building called StatCast, it enables us, us to track every single movement of every player, of the ball, every pitch, every batter, right? So with this amount of information, we now have enough training data to you know, build, again, build statistical models that we can then do predictive analytics on. It might help me to uh, help players with uh, uh, injury, injury uh, prediction. I might be able to pinpoint that uh, you know, maybe this pitcher should not be pitching as much. I, I would be able to see even more minute performance difference in the players and then correctly make a devices based on that. All of us worked with, uh, um, with, with videos that were very high, low, low resolution. But now, even when you think of, we, we're now in the 1080p you know, era, and actually you're moving to the 4K area for a lot of this, right? But actually pretty soon we're gonna be looking at 8K data. Imagine that I can look at people's fingers as, as someone is pitching, okay? So right now, when we're analyzing people's behavior when they're pitching, we're effectively just looking at their rough movement. If we actually have the processing power, um, you know, I would like to actually try to, to do a very detailed model of every single movement um, on, of the players. One season's worth of data is about 700,000 at-bats. Okay? Uh, that is a, a, about maybe a terabyte and a half of data. Uh, there is no way for us to, to effectively do machine learning on this without GPUs. So systems like DGX1 are going to enable us to uh, you know, go through all that data and create predictive models.